Hey guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer. We're playing Bayonetta, and right now we're starting Chapter One: The Angels Metropolis. So let's go ahead. So, I asked around and some whale in Europe is trying to fence a huge rock on the black market. He calls it the right eye. Saying it's part of some set called the eyes of the world. Fits the bill of what you're after, don't it? Now, here's the funny bit. The stone passes around the halls of power for hundreds of years, vanishes, and then the black market goes white hot for the thing. But the seller wanted an arm and a leg for it, to the point no one could stomach the price. So back goes the stone. But not before everyone figures out where the guy is. <laughs> You're gonna enjoy doing this one, I bet. I love sticking it to the rich. Of course, when you do, don't forget your old buddy Enzo stuck his neck out on this one. Slide me a few fuzzles out of the rich guy's pocket for my troubles, right? Anyways, you better get going before the trail gets cold. Off to the middle of nowhere. Paradise of Europe. Vigor. That's very vague. That was weird. Invisible man. On the lookout for me. Sexy bayonetta. So, this is supposed to be paradise? That doesn't look like paradise. Paradise should be a beach or something. Are they transparent? A resident of Vigrid. It may be part of their religion doctrine, but everyone is wearing holy vestments. As long as I am in a purgatorio, I won't be able to intervene in their affair. So, with a less. <laughs> But it also means that I should be able to get around this place without their interference either. That's weird, I can still shoot? Now she's scared, she's raining off. I thought they wouldn't allow me to do anything. I'm lucky they can get hit by another train. Can I go this way? There's probably an invisible wall there. Not even? The only link between the isolated city of Vigrid and the outside world is in this tunnel. 
First things first, I have to find a way into the city from the station. Eh, no hidden object there. Can I talk to him? I guess not. Nope. I just passed straight through him. Through her. Maybe I should go and check see what's upstairs. So many options, I don't know what to choose. I guess I can start this level again. If I ever make a mistake. Ah, okay. What did I just get? Unicorn Horn, cured via crystallization, Unicorn Horn is a concoction compound used by witches. It is useless by itself. I guess I'll need to combine it with something. Bake Gecko, cured within a crystal block, Bake Gecko is a concoction compound used by witches, useless by itself. Something I could check? What could I check? I'm just gonna go see if there's seats on the other side that I didn't shoot yet. Can I check this guy? Guess not. Aha! Mandragora Root! Cured via crystallization, Mandragora root is a concoction compound. Okay. Do all concoction compounds. I'm gonna check the sign. Wait, I need to go and get the objects. So there's many of these Bayonetta games. Have to check the other ones out as well. Sandworm aid at tourism. Tourists. Whoops, sorry. It points out to the location of the remaining ancient ruins of the grid. Okay. Wow. Can I go up here? I'm gonna try. Alright. Is this a door I can go through? I'm discovering this place at the same time as you guys. I like the way everything has been drawn. This game has very nice design. Yeah, it's plain weird. They fear me, but I can't really attack them. Probably because I'm in the parallel world. Alright, my magic's full. So let's go through that door, security door. Oh, oh. It's gonna be monsters here. That's kinda what I want. A little bit of action. That looks like a puzzle. 
The sphere embedded in the wall is emitting a wondrous light and resonant sound. Getting closer to it makes it glow brighter. It's as if it has some sort of ability to respond to a witch's power building. Do I have enough power to use it? Ooh. That's weird. Alright, what just happened? The dust has fallen off the moving wall, revealing a beautiful gold exterior. The hollow resonance exuded by the wall is unlike any sort of metal known to exist. Down. Whoa, there's an object here. I'm gonna go get it. An object bearing the seal of the sun. Upon the pedestal, there's an engraved headstone marking the resting place of a witch. Can I break it? What did I just get? That is some key. I can fight with this key. Oh my goodness. I probably need to open a door with it, I would think. I'm just gonna up using it as a weapon. What's that do? <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to change that in the options. Alright, so when I press select, I get to choose stuff. Accessories. Immortal Marionette can only be equipped in its designated slot. What does this do? Those who wear these braces are said to become masterful fighters. Alright. And that's my weapon. What else do I have? Objects? Items? I guess I'll learn conco concoctions at some point in the game. I'm gonna read those at some other point. I don't wanna bore you guys, this is already like pretty long. That didn't work. What am I supposed to do to you? Whole X. It's not working. I don't understand you guys, what am I supposed to do? Hold X to extend your jump duration. Press X again to execute the jump. I am holding X. I don't get it.
Oh, it's like a double jump. So I shouldn't say, I should say, I should press again. Alright. Is that mean I finished an area? I don't know. There's a book right here. A voyage towards truth. I've been a journalist now for over 20 years, always aiming for the guiding light of truth, always pushing forward. I believe that communicating the truth is the core tenet of all journalism, chasing it until my legs turn to rubber and the truth is burned into my retina. Oh, this is a long journal. But my journalistic career has hit an incredible wall. And I must confess that I've been crushed under the weight of the path I have traveled. It all began upon seeing beyond the stone chisel history of the old European city of Vigrid, and past the deep scars time had left behind. The passing of history has always been overseen by a select few, and they have left memories of a time stained by blood, with blood. This fact is integral in understanding the big picture, but it also causes one to hesitate before becoming involved in such a dark history. Tre treading down this path, I believe so firmly in means I cannot afford to lose faith in my convictions. It may also mean that my life is put into jeopardy, however, I hold deep within my heart the hope that even after my soul has left this body, as long as I, as long as these notes, my proof of being, are passed to the right man, future ages will also come to know the truth. They say that some things come at the cost of your life, but to me, truth is my life. In this age filled with lies and deception, I forever pray that truth will shine its light on the path of righteousness. Antonio Redgrave. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Guess we're gonna find many of these books. I wonder how useful it was for me to read it out loud for you guys. It's a set of two crystal statues, but one is in pieces. It has been destroyed in an unnatural manner, as if in a fit of rage powered by a deeply held grudge. What is this? Wicked weave techniques use your hair as a conduct to summon forth demonic entities. Connect these techniques to punch or kick combos for a devastating finish. Alright. Using my hair. <laughs> okay. What is this? Lumen Sage and Umbra Witch. When their powers meet in a test of strength, the lightning releases will be your test. Release will be your test. If you wish to walk upon water, prove your metal by dodging the lightning in a single hair's breadth. What does that mean? No saving. I will come back. I just want to check if I missed something here before passing this wall. Do I have the option of going back? I guess I don't. I'm gonna move on forward then. I still wonder what was on the other side, but I'll show you guys in another video.
I need to lift it? Okay. Can I lift this one as well? What is going on? This is weird, her, her clothes changed. So I need to hurry? Once I do this, I need to run? Nope, that didn't work. Or did it? I guess it did. Is there something hidden under here? Somewhere? I need to solve this puzzle. Oh, okay. Alright, so they tell me once I do it, I need to click many times R1? R2. Okay. Yay, I did it! Alright. Green Laurel. A laurel shaped gem that contains vital essence of crystallized form revives one's vitality instantly when obtained. Whoa, what is this? The screen in the wall seems to be calling out for magic powers. Magical powers! Yeah. <laughs> What is this gonna do? Where's this leading us? A special area? Ah. I'll check. A lift powered by magic. Humans would be unable to power this device. They are probably completely unaware of the runes that lie beneath their feet. Change her clothes into an aquatic form. She's wearing a bathing suit. <laughs> that is very weird. Alright, let's go up these steps. It's weird because the camera angle is very hard to change. It's as if the programmers kind of don't want you to change it. You can, but it takes a while to turn around. Maybe I can change that in the options, but I have a feeling that's how they want us to play the game, so I'm gonna just leave it this way. Whoa. What is that? Red light. I knew it. This town's teeming with heaven's little helpers. It's making my buddies downstairs awfully nervous. And your point is? Some places in this world are closer to Paradiso or Inferno. The rat hole of the town you and I live in is close to both. But the Bagridians, they got a special air about them. They're closer to Paradiso than anyone should ever be. And that shit just plain creeps me out. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set up shop here and score me some halos. 
These stupid rings are worth a fortune back home. Since it seems you're spoiling for a fight, if you come across any of these, bring them to me, and I'll hook you up. <sighs> Another one looking to lie in his pockets. <laughs> I'm beginning to see why Enzo is so fond of you. Real cute. But let's get one thing straight. Your fights are yours alone. I'm only here to watch my handiwork in action. So don't get any bright ideas about coming to me for help. No. You get one thing straight. I'm not the slightest bit interested in the fact that you made these guns. If you get in my way, I will... How do the Americans put it? Oh, yes. Bust a cap in your ass. <laughs> That's funny. Right on, baby. Right on. Right on, baby. <laughs> a little bit of Velvus going on in his voice. It looks like a station gate. However, it is sealed shut, maybe due to some sort of alarm system. The electronic sign above the door clashes with the old stone building it has been installed in. The building must be ancient ruins that were remodeled into a station. Oh, there seems to be something on the balcony. I'll get those halos. And I'm gonna try jumping up there. Yeah, can't seem to stand on this very well. Okay, so double jump up here. Ah. Oops. The letters are similar to those used in magic seals. The rail guide for the only mode of transportation in and out of big grid. What is this? I guess I can go there and save, perhaps? Enter the gates of hell. Let's try it, you guys. Okay, don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters, but I'll see you in the next video, where we enter the gates of hell.